What is up guys? It's AVX and I'm bringing you a tip video, but first of all I'm just going to talk about the gameplay. This is a pretty insane gameplay. Oh, I was going for the double nuke so bad. I I like basically I got a nuclear the first round and then the second round I was on like a 25 or something like that. And I, I, I wasn't looking at my ammo because this gun runs out of ammo like crazy. And I freaking ran out of ammo and I got caught like red handed just like or I, I just got caught like pretty much with my pants down because I didn't have any ammo and I pulled out a combat knife and I was like oh jeez I'm dead and that was kind of disappointing but I still kind of want to get a double nuclear for you guys but this is a pretty insane gameplay and I'm going to be talking about how to get a nuclear and I'm just going to cut like basically what I'm going to be talking about in this like in this video is just like the main points of getting a nuclear which are your gun your perks your game type and your kill streaks so First of all, your gun, if you guys are like me, if you are using a submachine gun, you rush like crazy. Like, I, I can't, I can't use a submachine gun and not, like, rush and get myself killed. If I, if I, like, if I use a submachine gun, then for some reason it's just harder for me. I mean, if you guys want to get, like, a really fast game, like, a really fast nuclear, then maybe that's good for you guys. But this is, the A94 and, like, the, the SCAR are both really good, just, like, generally good assault rifles with the Type 25 too. And I suggest a suppressor, which I, I don't know why, I just always use that. But gun, I would just suggest an assault rifle. Don't go, if you're going for a nuclear, don't do a sniper or something like that. And, you know, don't play too offensive. You know, be defensive when you need to because usually you have quite a while to get the nuclear. Unless you're playing TDM, then you have to, like, usually rush pretty hard to get the nuclear. So the next part that I'm going to be talking about is the perks. So in this game, is one of the things that you're gonna want to be running is hardline because you're gonna be wanting it. I'm gonna get to this later, but you're gonna be wanting to get those kill streaks, like those V sets, over and over and over again. So you're gonna be wanting to use hardline, and then in this in this um game, like like uh, I can't I'm, I keep losing my words. In this game, I was using flash jacket, which I think is better than ghost if you're going for nuclear because. Ghost is just, you know, just to get your kill streaks really fast. But in this, every, like, you have to kill them right on. So you're going to be facing them a lot of the time, whether it's with the head glitch or whatever. But, you know, there's going to be C4, there's going to be grenades, Semtex. So, you know, I think Flak Jacket and a Hardline are really good, like, perks to consider when you're going for nuclear. And as far as perk, like, Tier 2 goes, you're definitely, like, it's a must-have. <coughs> Sorry. It's a must-have is Scavenger because... If you don't have Scavenger, then you're going to run out of ammo really fast. Like, I do in this gameplay, even though I do have Scavenger. But if you're running around looking for a gun wall on a high, like, gun streak, then you're going to be screwed. So, one thing that you're definitely going to want to have is Scavenger. And, you know, if you guys tend to face your enemies on, like, face on more, or you just don't have the greatest aim, one other perk that I would definitely recommend, not without Scavenger, though, if you want, you can use Perk to Greed for it, is Toughness. Toughness is a really good perk. And just to like help improve your aim and you know you don't like flinch which helps a lot because there's a lot of flinch in this game I've noticed so the next thing is game type one of the things that I really love to go for nuclears for like one of the game types that I love the best is 6v6 domination just because you know it's not too crazy like ground war you know ground war is way too crazy there's so many people so what you're gonna want to do is do like a 6v6 game type probably not ground war ground war is kind of bad for it and what I suggest is either demolition or domination. I like domination because the spawns are really predictable. You know, it's just whatever flag that they have is where they're spawning. And there I get the nuclear, so it's pretty sick. Pretty sick little thing right there. But, or de demolition. Demolition is just going to be whatever bomb they have, or if they're on defense, it's just going to be, like, at the bomb. They're always going to be spawning near, like, their bomb site. So that's just really predictable too. You know, you don't need to get super intricate like TDM where you need the super intricate spawns. You need to know the spots. For, you, for those of you guys who just want to get like a nuclear title, like the calling card, then that's definitely one of the things that you're going to want to do. And if you guys want, if you guys enjoy this, I could do one on how to get a nuked out title also if you would like. And the next thing is kill streaks. Kill streaks are probably the most important part of this in my opinion. The kill streaks that you're gonna want to run, I think honestly every time you should always run these kill streaks: UAV, VSAT, and EMP. Now let me tell you why. 
Okay, so these are all going to get you assist points. They're all going to get you assist points for getting them whenever anyone on your team gets a kill. So UAV, someone gets a kill, it's 10 points. And if you have them all up at once, it's 30 points every time someone gets a kill. So, like, every time, like, people, someone, like, your team gets three kills, that's, like, almost 100 points, which is pretty insane. I think I get, like, an insane amount of VSATs in this game. I'm not sure how many it is, but it is pretty crazy. And, okay, so UAV is just good to help you start off your streak. VSAT is insanely good because you're always going to know where they are. And one thing that a lot of people argue is they'll say, well, you should run counter UAV instead of VSAT, instead of uh, EMP. But see, the thing is, counter UAV doesn't really do anything. It just jams the radar for a little bit. And, you know, EMP does the same thing. Except it makes the radar disappear and for longer. So that's better. And if they have any equipment or anything up, as you guys probably know, if you don't already know, EMP just, uh, it destroys all their equipment and it keeps it offline for a while. So, if they have any equipment, you're going to get like a heck of points for destroying that. If they have like a care package, that's, not, that's like 100 points, 150 points or something like that. And then, like, you know, it's just going to, it's going to shut all their stuff down. So instantly, off the bat, you could get like 200 points just for calling it in. And then it lasts a while and, you know, they can't really do anything when EMP's up. You don't have to worry about UAVs. That's why Ghost really, you shouldn't run Ghost when you're going for nuclear because if you're, if you're using EMPs, then you know you don't need ghosts because then when you get an EMP, they're not going to be able to, they're not going to be able to call a UAV in. In this game in play, they call in UAV in, and I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to call in my my EMP, which is pretty funny. It's a really useful thing to use. Counter UAV is actually pretty pointless. It doesn't really do a lot. It just kind of helps you build. It just helps you build your kill streaks, but not as good as EMP. And it's only one thing above like like one perk or kill streak. It's only 100 points more than VSAT. So those are like the definite kill streaks that you're gonna want to use, but secondary kill streaks if you guys kind of want to get some kills in your nuclear too. Some things that I would recommend if for a domination and demolition. Say you want the game to go longer, you know, you're like you're kind of playing defensive, you know, you're like the game's gonna end soon basically, and you want to finish your streak to get the nuclear. So one of the things that you could run is lightning strike because that's really objective based kill streak. And, you know, if you don't want the other team capping the flag so that you can finish your streak, call in your lightning strike and they're off of it instantly. Or your Hellstorm Hell missile also works. Guardians are good, too. I'm trying to think. I think there's another, like, really... Oh, like, sentry guns. If you guys want, I wouldn't recommend this. But if you want, you can use, like, a war machine or death machine. Like, mostly just, like, war machine just to, like, spam it if, like, they hop on a flag that you don't want them to hop on. And, you know, those are always really good. Just, like, really good, like streaks to run but i think in my opinion that these are the best because basically none of these matter to me as much as the vsat does because the vsat basically just does like so much work because you can tell where they are all the time and these make like these kill streaks make sure that you get as many vsets as possible and you know if you guys want to see double like nuclear gameplay or more nuclear gameplay then let me know i really wanted the double nuke in this gameplay and i get the 20 right there which is pretty insane and i think i'm gonna make my subscriber lobby announcement video soon Hopefully you guys enjoy that, and, you know, I'm pretty excited to do that again. Hopefully you guys can show up. I'll have the rules and, like, description for that. And one of the things that I was wondering is one of you guys, like, asked about Throwback Thursday. Do you guys want that? Because I'm not sure if you guys want that still. I know that guy definitely does. I kind of want to do it again. It's just lately I've been really hooked on Black Ops, and I like saying that. I like saying that, you know, I'm hooked on this game because, oh, right here. So, look, I have 30 bullets. Sorry. I have 30 bullets in the clip. I finished this guy off. Finish that guy off, and my combat knife, and I'm all oh, right there, just just dead on the 25. Pretty irritating. But if you guys want to see more Throwback Thursday, let me know if you want to see a mob. Because, you know, it wasn't getting the most views, the most likes. I enjoy doing it, but I just want to know what you guys think. Because I've just been really hooked on this game, and it's, it's so fun to say that I'm still hooked on this game. And it's March now. And, that, like, you know, I've, I have not gone through a period where I'm like, you know what, I hate this game. Really, the only points where I've said I don't like this game is because of lag. I don't know if you guys are the same way, but that's how I am. I, I'm really hooked on this game, and I love saying that because, you know, it's just such a good game, and I really enjoy how good they made it. It's just really fair. It's not overpowered. You know, I really just enjoy it. And, you know, I heard Fear Crowds talk about this, and I've heard a lot of people talk about this. It's kind of my question of the day. But do you guys think when the new console comes out that, you know, COD's going to be taken over? Because I'll still be uploading whatever. Like, I'll probably still be uploading COD, but... You know, Halo, you know, was the main thing on Xbox One, but then, like, now, like, it's Call of Duty, uh, is something else going to take over? I just hope it's a first-person shooter, because, 
you know, that's what I'm all about, and I really love COD, you know, I haven't been playing it as long as other people have, so that's probably why I'm not as burned out, but, you know, I've only been playing since, like, halfway through, like, the life of Black Ops, so I still really enjoy COD, I want to know if you guys are enjoying this game, let me know, leave a comment, I hope you guys enjoyed this pretty beast gameplay, and tell me if these tips helped, anyways, guys, I'm AVX, and I'm out.